out of the inbox segment where we look at stories that you at home tell us you want to hear about is very timely. It came from Greg Danson via Twitter. He asks, why can't we get Pastor Saeed out of prison? What is the administration doing about Christian persecution? You'll remember the story. Saeed Abedini is the American pastor who's been jailed in Iran for more than a year because of his religious beliefs. Last night, when the president addressed the nation regarding the newly reached deal on Iran's nuclear program, there was no mention of Pastor Saeed. That's despite an appeal from our next guest, Jay Seculo, from the American Center for Law and Justice. Jay, welcome. Hi, Shannon. All right, tell us what you had been working on, specific appeals you've made to this administration ahead of these nuclear talks. Well, we've been working with the State Department for a long time now on obtaining the release of Saeed Abedini, and I think we had an historic opportunity uh, when the United States decided to not only sit down with the Iranian regime, but when the President of the United States spoke to the President of the Islamic Republic of Iran and brought up Saeed Abedini and the other Americans by name. But now what we hear from the NSA in statements that were released that uh, Pastor Saeed's case did not come up in these discussions and the idea that we cut a deal, so to speak, we've reached this agreement with the Iranians and did not secure the release of Americans held hostage in Iran, which is exactly what's happening here, is outrageous. I, I, I sent a very strong letter off to Secretary of State Kerry on Friday uh, urging him to obtain that release of Saeed Abedini before they execute any agreements. Not even getting to the merits of whether it was a good deal or a bad deal for the United States. I have opinions on that, but to focus on Saeed Abedini, this was the perfect times for a confidence-building measure from the Iranians to release this pastor and the other Americans held. The Secretary of State, evidently, according to the sources that we've had, including the State Department release, did not bring that up at all. And, I mean, Shannon, this was a historic blunder of huge proportions with significant repercussions. We're easing the sanctions on Iran while they continue to torture American citizens held in their jails. I, to me, it's outrageous. Well, and my first question, it always with this case, and why we haven't taken a tougher stand, in this point, you know, where there was an historic opportunity for negotiation, right. why? Why didn't we do more? When are we ever going to have a better opportunity to negotiate over the lives of these Americans? Well, I'm not sure we ever will have a better opportunity than we just had. We're going to now have to utilize diplomatic sources outside of the United States. We've been working on that as a fallback, but now we have no choice because the United States of America, our country, let one of its citizens, actually three of its citizens, rot right now in a jail in Iran because we did not put as a precondition to negotiations, including, I want everybody to hear this, giving the Iranians money, easing sanctions, what they said, we're going to make sure there's a flow of humanitarian aid. That's what Secretary Kerry said. Well, you want some humanitarian aid on both sides, that would be the release of these Americans being held. It was an easy thing for the Iranians to do. It was an easy thing for the United States to ask for. But evidently, when we got to the table, the United States of America, through its Secretary of State, decided it wasn't enough of a priority that they were going to singularly focus on the Iranian nuclear situation and they were going to ignore the plight of Americans held captive by the people we're negotiating with. Well, and you mentioned the statement that we got from the administration. This uh, comes to us when our White House correspondent, radio White House correspondent Mike Makowitz, asked specifically, did this issue come up? Was told the P5 plus one talks focused exclusively on nuclear issues. Uh, but the statement goes on to say that the, you know, the president has brought this up before with Iran. So we know you'll keep up the pressure. We think of his family all the time. Yeah. Uh, you know, multiple Americans there were talking about. Jay, thank you and uh, keep us updated so we can let the viewers know. Thanks for covering it, Shannon.